What's up everybody, Jared here from Yoda Expedition. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the AVS window vent visors. We have three different styles here and we're gonna quick cover what the differences are between the three to help you make a decision on what you want for your vehicle. So the three styles we have here are the standard original design. This sticks on the outside of the vehicle. Then this is a little more of a stylish design. This is called their low profile. This also sticks to the outside of the vehicle using double-sided tape, but it looks a little bit fancier, a little more sporty. And then this is their in-channel design. So this actually sticks inside the window channel and then this double-sided tape um, holds it up in there. So really what you have here is two mounting options. These two styles are gonna stick to the outside of the vehicle. This one's going to mount in the channel. So you can use that to narrow down your choices. Unfortunately, the one that mounts in the channel only has one style. So if you don't like the way this looks, your only option is gonna to be to go with something that mounts on the outside. One major thing to consider and one big reason why the in-channel ones I believe are probably the most popular is that regardless of whether this double-sided tape sticks or not, it is gonna be pressed and locked inside the weather stripping channel on the window. So the chances of water intrusion when this is installed is basically zero. Uh, if you install either of these ones that stick on the outside of the vehicle, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you get this double-sided tape pressed down very, very well along all the edges and uh, make sure it's very clean because if not, it can come unstuck and then water will be able to slip in and sneak in behind your rain guards, which obviously would defeat the entire purpose. So after a brief look at the instructions for installing all of these, we actually realized that the in-channel design really isn't gonna work on the Forerunner. We're not super happy with the way this fits in here. Um, the channel on this vehicle, the Forerunner specifically, isn't very deep and the channel is basically just wide enough for the window to fit in. I think on older vehicles, this probably would work fine because of the way the window channels are designed. But on the Forerunner, the window channel is actually almost exactly the width of the glass. So there's no extra room to be able to wedge this in there. Uh, additionally, the instructions actually tell you and it comes with a Scotch-Brite pad and they want you to go inside your window channel and actually scuff the rubber surface so that the double-sided tape will adhere properly and that just didn't feel right to us to begin with and then after investigating we definitely won't be installing the in channels on our forerunner uh, we suspected that this would not have enough room in the window channel for the window and we tested it out as you can see in this video here and um, yeah the window goes up and then it detects that there is resistance and that's because this is in the window channel and the car actually pulls the window back down for safety reasons. Um, so I'm not exactly sure how AVS expects these to work on the Forerunner, but we cannot recommend these based on what we're seeing. I hope this video helped you guys out in choosing which window visors you might want for your Forerunner. If you're interested in picking any of these up, there's a link down below where you could purchase all three styles from yodaexpedition.com. Also down there is links to the install instructions for these window visors. Um, if you have any questions, just feel free to reach out to us, but I think we covered everything in our videos and we hope to see you in the next one. Yeah.